Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy J-O-D with another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Sipping on a tea with your boy. It's a new year. It's the first one of the year. I'm planning to make more videos. More Thirsty Thursday sipping on the tea. But this is the first one. Before I get into the quote, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you haven't yet, go ahead and do that. Hit the like, hit the bell, that you get notifications every time I upload a video. I haven't said that in a long time, so what the heck, might as well say it again. Check out the, the new drip I got right here. I don't know if you can see it. Film the brand. If you haven't seen the past video, the, the video I posted on Monday, go ahead and check that out. Shout out to my cousin Dale for um, sending, me, sending this over to me. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the share. Go ahead and follow them on his Instagram. The social media will be, the links will be on the, social, uh, on the description box. This video has been chaos. Go ahead and follow them on the Instagram. Fill them the brand. The their social their social media will be on this on this description box below and on the screen it's, itself too. Maybe I don't know if I'm too lazy or unless I forgot. But go ahead and check them out. Go shop on their website. Enough talking. Enough this chit chat. Let's get straight to the video. Let's go straight to the quote for today, and that is New Year, New Money, New Blessings. Let me repeat that one more time for the people in the back. New Year, New Money, New Blessings. New Year, New money, new blessings. Repeat that one more time. New year, new money, and new blessings. Happy New Year 2022. Hopefully you guys are starting of the year on the right path. If not, you still got a whole 11 months and chump chains days of the of this month of january to reconcile that to figure out where you want to be in life or where you want to be at in this part of time and if, if you hear barking i'm in my garage roomish uh, so yeah you, there's dogs in the backyard of my neighbors so if you hear that barking you know why but let's go back to the whole point of new year, new money, new blessings. No matter where you're at right now when it comes to the situation, 2021, well, let's go back. 2020 has been rough. 2021 hasn't been better for some. Maybe, maybe it's been better for you 2021. Maybe it has been worse. Maybe it's gone bad. So hopefully 2022 will be even better. Will get better for you. As in some people, some of you guys might be last year of high school, last year of college, ready to make the jump to the next level, going to the next level of college, maybe getting your master's already by the time, or first time finding a job. That's where the money comes in now. Where you're making this next step to be in the adulthood, adulthood where you be making that money. Where no matter where you go in life, remember to always look out for yourself. It's been hard living life. People come and go. I know there'll be people be people will be passing away here left and right through this pandemic that we've been going through. But you can't hold that too long. You gotta make sure that you're taking care, taking care of yourself. Know that what you do in life can bring you to a better place down the road. 
you might not like where you're at right now, but there's always time for you to make that change, make that jump. If it's work, if it's a work related, if you don't like the job that you're working right now, go ahead and search for a better job. Go ahead and search a job that you feel that you can look better, better into, that you can make more money, or maybe you just need a new, new career path. Maybe you need something different in your life. Maybe you just need the you need a jump start. So maybe 2022 will be that. Don't hold too long on the relationship and a workforce that you know you're not going nowhere. That you're always gonna be stuck in the same rut. You're gonna be in the same space that you're not growing. Because once you start growing then you know that that's the time for you to make that change. Make that change right now than later. You might regret it later on. So it's better to know that, you know what, I need to find something better. I need to look for someone that will make my life better. Who will make me more happy. Because you have to look at at yourself and know that what you do in life, what you're doing, are you happy in life? Are you happy where you're at? Are you happy with the person that you're with? Are you happy at yourself? Do you need to make a change on yourself? Do you need to make sure that you're better, that you're working out? You might, maybe you just need something different in life. Maybe you need to go and go hit the gym. Maybe go out. If you have money on you, maybe it's time for you to go out and just go live. Go live a life. Go live a little. Maybe go on different vacations wherever you can. As long as you can, as long as you're able to to go to those trips. Maybe you just need to distinct you may maybe you just need to separate yourself from the world itself right now. Go ahead and find yourself. I say this all my videos that you gotta make sure you find yourself, make sure you're happy. Don't worry about what's going on in the world right now. Don't worry about what someone else is going through. Don't matter, don't worry about just the drama that's going out there. Don't worry about that. Worry about you. Make sure that you're happy. Make sure that you're taking care. Make sure you take care of yourself. Because no one else will, no one else will take care of you. Because uh, you need to be able to take care of yourself. That's the most, that's the main thing in life is as long as you're happy, as long as you're healthy, as long as you got your money, as long as you're, as, as long as you're making your, uh, as long as your, your goals are set and you're achieving your goals in life, then you should be good. But if not, then you gotta figure out what's wrong. You gotta figure out how you could do better. How you could be better. I say this again in all my other videos. Do better than you was yesterday. Do better than you was today for tomorrow. Plan for the future, but live for the present. Don't worry about what's, what happened in the past. Don't worry about what's going on or what's what had happened in the past. Use that as a motivation to be better moving forward. If it's a breakup that you've been that you went through, know that focus on what you learn from the relationship. Know that mm, maybe that's the reason why it didn't work out because this, this, this. And don't just blame on one per don't blame on that person. Make sure may maybe you have to look at yourself to be like that's why I did wrong. Know your own faults and know what you could do better. Know what you can make yourself look better. Make yourself better at the next relationship you go through. If it's a relationship wise, if it's the work or uh, related, just know that you have to, che you have to make your ch a checklist. To know what you did wrong, what you did right, that when you 
come up with the next job, the next relationship, you will know what to do better. You have to know that this works, this didn't. And then you go and make that new beginning with that life. Whatever life you choose. Whatever life that's going to be open for you. So use this new year to make new memories, new goals in life. The life we live is a roller coaster. We're going to have our ups and downs. But it's up to you to make sure that there's more ups and downs. Only you can tr control that. Control what you can control. Don't worry about the ones that you can't. That's just part of life where you can't handle everything. You can't control everything in life. What's going on? But you have to stay focused on the ones you can't control. You can't control how your manager acts. You can't control how your partner acts. But you can control yourself. You can control knowing that this thing's not working out for me anymore. This person is not working out for me. This job's not working out for me. You know what? I'm done. I'm ready to put my two week notice. I'm ready to end this relationship. I need to go ahead and find myself. It's not, it's not the person's fault. It's not my fault. It's just, it's a mutual agreement knowing that you guys are two, you guys are two different places right now. That it's not going to work out. That you need to step out of that boundary and know that maybe, maybe down the road again, you might, might uh, cross the path again. But right now, you guys not in the same place. You guys not in the same level. So you need to make sure that you go and find yourself and find that job that fits for you. Find a job that makes you happy again. Find the person that makes you happy again. If you're not happy right now, you gotta make sure you go find out what's, what makes you happy. Who makes you happy and what makes you happy. That's how you know that life will be better once you know those answers. You have to go and search for those. You got to make sure you search for those answers. When you do that, that's where money comes in. That's where the new money comes in. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on the loss. Use those, use those losses that you encounter in 2021 and use them as motivation to be better in 2022. Count those blessings. Count all your blessings. Count those ones that were missed, that you failed at. We all gonna fail at things. We're gonna all fail at relationships. We're all gonna fail at work related, relationship wise, and just life in general. We're all gonna take the L's. But it's how you come out of it. It's how you can control that and make those L's into W's again. How you take those losses, how you take those L's. You see a lot of athletes who when they lose a game, they don't dwell it too long. They dwell it till maybe for another 10 to 15 minutes or even a half an hour. Next thing you know, they're ready for the next battle. They're ready for the next opponent because they don't have time to dwell on the losses. Even if it's the main championship, maybe it's like Super Bowl or even the championship game. The finals. The World Series. Yeah, it's going to be devastation that devastated they lost the game. And they have to wait until the next year. No, they don't wait until next year to, to worry about it. By the time the game's over, they, uh, 10 minutes after the game, they're ready, they're ready to compete again. They're not going to hold on that loss too long. That's what you guys need to do is not hold on too long on those L's. And know that those L's will be W's as long as you make those L's. 
as long as you make those L's into a W, as long as you make those W's, as long as you keep winning, as long as you know that you know that you are a winner, that you can make anything happen. You can make that money, you can make yourself happy. You could set some goals in life and know that it's okay to fail. It's okay, it's okay to lose at certain things. It's okay to lose a partner. It's okay to lose people in your life. It's okay to lose a job. But it's how you how you get out of it. It's how you jump start from it. Life is about jump starts. Life is like a car. When you're stuck in a rut, if you're stuck in somewhere, it's how you could come out of it. You might need a new battery. The car might need a new battery and that's okay. Maybe you need something like that. Maybe you just need a jump start. You need that motivation to come back on you. Honestly, one of the main things I stopped doing videos is because I lost the motivations. And of course, I have work related wise, but a lot of it is motivation. Because making videos is not easy. There's people don't see how you how to set up the lights, the camera, and all that. People think you just talk in front of the camera and you're good. No, you gotta set it up. You gotta make sure everything's good, and then po and then post production. You gotta make sure you edit it right. And that takes work. And that takes motivation to do it. So as long as you're motivated to do something, you can do it. I believe in you. So now you got to make sure you believe in yourself. If no one else is going to believe in you, know that I believe in you. I believe in whatever you want to do in life, you will do it. You will conquer it 100. 1, 110%. 120%. 120%, 130%. I know that you can conquer anything in life as long as you put yourself in that mode that you can do it. So don't fall off, don't slack. Let me repeat it again. It's okay to slack on things. It's okay to fail at things. It's okay to fail at life because you know what stuff works, what don't work. I know what things work for me. I know what things didn't work. I know what works and what didn't work for me. It took time for me to get back up. But once you get back up and you start moving, the you feel much better. You're going to make new money, new memories, a new life for yourself and whoever is in the car with you. So once you start moving, people gonna follow you people it's gonna you're gonna be surrounded by people who believe in you as you believe in yourself but also believe in yourself and believe in others that they're good for you and they're and you're good for them remember guys to always love yourself take care of yourself and each other and my beautiful people my beautiful people I miss you guys. Happy New Year again. Love you guys. And of course, have a nice day. Rope like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> Number one chemistry. Remix. Can't touch me. Can't touch Rope us. like a butterfly, Remix. sting like a bee. Raw ready chemistry. The don't remix. Whip me. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Number one champion, so you can't touch yeah, me. It's production. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Can't touch We're all greatest champions, so don't fool with me.